For the residents of Malé, a chance to get away for the long election weekend, splashing about in the clear blue waters of a neighbouring island. But just offshore, evidence that big changes are underway. Pillars sunk into the ocean for highways that'll link the islands. Land reclamation schemes for housing to alleviate the cramped conditions in the capital. Huge projects undertaken by a government burdened with debt. Our politics is so far off left that the centre is in fact just a glimmer. The candidates seem to think that the public will vote for whoever makes the biggest promises to give absolutely everything free. But the governing Maldivian Democratic Party has undergone big changes. Two of its founders, the current president and the speaker of the house, split acrimoniously with accusations the party has lost its way. We did, of course, win the elections in 2008 and then again in 2018. But it started going in the wrong direction. Power was becoming more important for everyone. Uh, we were losing our principles, our ideals. The opposition progressive party of the Maldives has had a hard time too. Previous president Abdullah Yamin is in jail serving 11 years for corruption. But his proxy, Mohamed Moiz, is a popular politician in his own right, known for delivering on major housing projects and getting the job done. Arriving for his final rally, President Ibrahim Mohamed Saleh looked in confident mood. He's been praised for steering the country through the COVID-19 pandemic that could have been disastrous for a nation whose principal industry is tourism. But in its short democratic history, no president has ever been re-elected in the Maldives. Even at this late stage, it's still very hard to know who's going to emerge victorious. The most recent polls suggested that more than 50% of voters haven't yet decided who's going to get their vote. Tony Chang, Al Jazeera, Mali. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.